Hey, you guys, hope you're having a good day. So today I want to talk about the importance of building a community in order to get a big, cool life. This is a tough one for me. I'm not a super social guy, I'm a bit of an introvert. You know, I love that my, I stole my motto from the movie Barfly. It's, it's not that I don't like people, it's that I tend to feel better when they're not around. And that's been true most of my life. And I'm pretty self-sufficient. I'm pretty self-contained. I like doing things on my own. And that's great as far as it goes. But it doesn't really go far enough. And when I run up against things I don't know how to do, it's no help at all. Oftentimes I don't realize that I'm trying to solve a problem on my own resources until I realize how freaked out it's making me. And that I don't have the resources and that I don't know the solution and no amount of Googling is going to solve the problem. It's at that point that I have to reach out into the community and ask for help. And I always hated doing this because it, I didn't understand really the model. And then one day I was in the hospital and I was laid up there for a couple of weeks and this, these people had been coming by and doing things for me and taking care of my life out there in the world because I couldn't do it. And I had no understanding of why they were doing it. And this woman showed up and I barely even knew her. And she was going to take care of my animals. And, and, and I finally stopped her and said, why are you doing this? I don't understand why you're doing this. And she said, well, you help other people all the time. So I thought, well, I'll just help you. And after she left, I realized that, oh, I don't like asking for help because I think if you help me, I owe you. But it's a bigger circle than that. I'm always glad to help people. It makes me feel good. I, it makes you feel good to help people. But I help you, and then you help somebody else, and then they help somebody else, and eventually it comes back around, and when I need something, somebody helps me. I have to be part of that circle. It's weird that I love helping people, and it makes me feel awesome, but I absolutely refuse to let you have that experience helping me. Self-centeredness, I guess. If I could solve all my problems under my own power, I would be doing that. But there's a lot of things in life that I need help from the community around me. I need support, I need somebody who's already faced the challenge, somebody who has the answer I need. You know, whether it's like who knows a good plumber or you know, what do you do when you have chronic pain? Somebody out there is ahead of me on the path who can talk to me about how they've managed both of those things. And I have to build that community. And it turns out that liking people doesn't make them my friends, even if they like me back. What makes people my friends is actually spending time with them, shared experience. Another thing that um, <laughs> freaks me out a little bit, but I've been doing it and I feel much more connected to everybody. And I feel like I have this community and this larger support than just me or just me and my wife or me and my wife and one other person. It's, there's a large community out there and I lean on them all the time now. And it, it really makes for a foundation that I can build a big cool life on because it reminds me on a regular basis that I don't need to know all the answers. I just need to know a whole bunch of people because one of them knows the answers. And often the way it works is I tell everybody what it is I'm looking for and none of them have an answer. But four days from now, one of them is having lunch with somebody I don't know who happens to mention in the conversation that they have the answer to my problem. And if I didn't tell the first guy, he won't be able to connect me with the guy I don't know. I have to be able to reach out into the community and ask for their support. Um, beginning to understand this bigger circle and the importance of community. You know, my spiritual life is something I work on all the time at the personal level. But oftentimes it's when I'm in community, especially in a, surrounded by a bunch of people who don't really want anything from me. They just want things for me. And I don't want anything from them, I just want things for them. So we're gathered together for basically unselfish reasons, just because we like each other and we're having a good time. It creates this very solid foundation where it feels safe to take the kind of risks that it takes to build a big, cool life. Because stepping outside of your comfort zone is by nature uncomfortable. But somebody I know is already out there in that area that I don't have any experience with yet. Do you guys have a community? I'm lucky. You know, I fell into one when I got sober. But do you have one? Or if you're in the recovery community or you're really part of that community, do you have one, I don't know, through your church or through some other group that you're a part of? Do you have people out there, acquaintances, 
that you can lean on for support on something. And if not, how might you find that? Because it's important. We can't do this alone. And the way society is constructed right now, everybody feels like they're on their own. And it just doesn't have to be true. Shoot, if you have a question, feel free to reach out to me. I don't know all the answers, but I bet I know somebody who does. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. I'll talk to you again soon.